In this episode, I'm going to talk about what you can do as a landowner with a body of water to control, yeah, the West Nile virus. Stay tuned. Hello folks, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I have this pond here, it came with the property. I didn't have to dig it. I just let it dry out and I dig it deeper to get all the sediment out. But with that comes responsibility when you have a body of water, especially stagnant, and that is controlling mosquitoes and mosquito larvae. Because the mosquitoes like to plant their eggs and hatch their eggs in the water. And as you can see right here, I don't know if you can see this up close, but there's a little mosquito larvae in there. What I did when I recognized the mosquito larvae, I immediately went down to my local county's vector control office. And the vector control office provides the landowner for free, no charge, a bag of mosquito fish that will eat these larvae. Well, I brought the mosquito fish home. Yep, this is them. I'm gonna set the, uh, the bag down into the water, into the pond to acclimate the water temperature in the bag to the pond, and then we'll go ahead and open it up and release the little fishies. Since there's a bunch of mosquito larvae right here, I'll go ahead and release the fishies. That way they have a meal all ready to go. Come on guys, you're free, you're free. There you go. Any stragglers? Nope. Everybody's free and now I've done my part. I can see them down in there. Yeah, they're going after the larva. <laughs> I hope the camera can pick that up. I hope they do a good job and clear these mosquito larvae out. See, there's mosquitoes even flying over the top of the water right here. I got them just in time. I'm gonna go ahead and get some more types of fish and plant them in here. I might go uh, and catch me some rock lobster, also known as crawdads or crawfish, and uh, set those in there also. Gotta get some vegetation in the pond and uh, add some like cattails some duckweed, some duck potatoes, and other grasses that were native to our environment around here. And get this pond cleaned up and oxygenated. That's what the plants can do for me. It's sure nice having a nice water feature on the pond. This, like I said, this came with the property when I purchased the property. Uh, my wife and I just cleaned it out and uh, dug it out, made it deeper, and made a nice environment for our duck and geese livestock. They really love it. It also tracks wild duck, wild Canada geese, and the deer population. They all come down and drink, and um, whatever comes at night, <laughs> we'll see. Well, I'm Jerry Hansen, your host here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm, trying to be a responsible landowner and responsible for the environment and controlling different vectors. Yeah, disease spreading vectors. Stay tuned to more videos. You could do that by subscribing by clicking that bell icon that alerts you to new videos as I upload them. Hey, give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. Click that share button. Sharing my videos on your social media platforms might help everybody else know where you can get this stuff for free and help control the spread of West Nile virus. Yes, please do that. Please be safe, always be kind. We'll see you guys in the next adventure. Bye-bye now.